Did you know the Young Turks have 18 different shows? Become a TYT member and get all of them. Click the link in the description box below. Newt Gingrich might have accidentally revealed to the Washington Post in an interview recently why he actually cared so much about Brett Kavanaugh being confirmed to the Supreme Court. What about if they subpoena his tax returns? Then they'll be trapped into appealing to the Supreme Court and we'll see whether or not the Kavanaugh fight was worth it. So he was talking there about various legal challenges to Donald Trump and why Donald Trump doesn't have to be worried about it and all that. The only one that he had a little bit of worry for was if they, if the Dems take over the House and start to subpoena things. He instantly goes to not, you know, the people won't support it or they won't find anything. It's always will Brett Kavanaugh make the difference? Will he protect Donald Trump? Right, and it should be noted that the Congress does have the ability to subpoena his his tax returns. Um, at this point, uh, Trump's actual personal tax returns that were due in 2017 have been basically um, extended out. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that will happen through 2018. They can continue to extend that out for a while, but Congress does have that ability legislatively to ask. So it does matter um, what happens in Congress. And it does matter um, because Republicans haven't done this. If the Democrats do take the House, um, they can ask for that subpoena. Um, it can go to the Supreme Court as a, as a legal matter because what Trump, I think, will do is use national security or something like that, which he tends to use mm -hmm. a lot for things like trade wars, um, et cetera, to, to bring it up to the Supreme Court. And at that point, um, it actually can get up to a Kavanaugh situation where he does have bearing on the legislative validity of that. So, so what Newt Gingrich did there uh, by by accident, or or perhaps uh, not by accident, I don't know, um, is 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 just allude us to the fact that on the one hand, Kavanaugh can make that difference, at least while Trump is in office. There's still the AG in New York that's looking at his mm -hmm. returns. There's other entities that are looking at his tax returns, but it can make the difference at the Supreme Court level. And just to mention this to. All our viewers, Mary, etc., for your tweet, you have to vote. Mm -hmm. Okay, voting matters, taking the House matters, so that we actually can do things like see what he has been up to financially over his like lifetime. Mm -hmm. Again, if you believe that he's not hasn't done anything, why should why should you have any issue with things being exposed? The same thing we've heard since forever. If you have nothing to hide, what are you worried about? When we talk about surveillance of regular of any ordinary Americans. So um, also, it's remember the whole lifetime appointment thing for Supreme Courts? It's supposed to be there uh, so that there's no problem with you being biased, so that you have no, uh, there's no cover, or there's, there's no reason for you to have to, uh, to vote a certain way or to rule a certain way, and you're actually clear of all that. It has mm -hmm. com been flipped completely on its head. The whole reason for a lifetime appointment is for you to continue to be uh, biased. And reliable. And then have cover to do so. Yeah. Oh, well, like they can't get me out of here. I'm here for life, right? Yeah. So uh, the obvious point here is now uh, we'll see if the Kavanaugh fight was worth it. The Kavanaugh fight over his uh, alleged sexual assault. Mm -hmm. Who cares about that? The fight about that is not about the truth, which they kept saying was the truth of the sexual assault. The fight about that is for him to come in and protect Trump. Mm -hmm. Again, your principles was about, hey, we're sick of these men being accused of these sexual assaults that they never did 35 years ago. We've left that in the wind now because somehow you won that fight. So now the fight is actually about protecting the president, just this one, mm -hmm. and then going after maybe the other ones. So if another president from the, from the other party comes in, then Kavanaugh's there to then go after him. So the Supreme Court has now become this uh, judicial wing of the Republican Party. That's yeah. the point of the court. Yeah, and, yeah. and forget about the checks and balances aspect. I None. mean, Kavanaugh during that entire testimony, um, you know, about. Um, the sexual assault was something that he made very clear um, was kind of partisan for him. Mm -hmm. He used exactly the type of language that mm -hmm. Trump uses on a very yes. regular basis to deflect uh, talking about accountability to reflect responsibility away from him. He talked about how it was a left-wing conspiracy. It was something that was imposed upon him by by the Democrats and not by his you know potential behavior uh, you know, back in college, back yeah. in high school. Um, and, and so he very much used. Um, Chapters, whole chapters from Trump's playbook. So it's it's not a stretch yeah. to think he would um, he would find he's a smart legislator uh, to find uh, you know examples to keep Trump's taxes if they were to come up into the Supreme Court off of the table or other things like or the other taxes, things certainly yeah that's right that's right yeah yeah the the theory that the, the right wingers always want to say like that the the court is this, this nonpartisan thing uh, Newt Gingrich does not appear to have gotten that memo <laughs> he's talking about it pretty decidedly partisan. Uh, uh, ways and uh, just one other thing. Um, if 
if the midterms go well and the Democrats take over the House, and maybe, although it's much less likely, the Senate, um, that will be good for a number of different reasons. They can stop certain pieces of legislation, things like that. But it will change the dynamic a little bit in ways that might end up being kind of scary. Uh, I and many others have been worried about what sort of ruler Donald Trump would be even before he was president. And some Trump apologists since then have said, why isn't he acting like the dictator you implied that he would be or the proto dictator or whatever? Here's the thing, up until this point, they have all the power. He has been shielded and protected by a conservative Supreme Court, by control of the House, by control of the Senate. Hell, they control most of the state governorships and state legislatures as well. To the extent that there are a few things that he sometimes has to bow to, like perhaps interviewing with Mueller, he's just decided not to do that. Now, if the Democrats get even one shred of political power, then you have potential conflict where they might completely legally ask for certain things through subpoenas, document requirements, things like that. Then for the first time since he became president, he might have to choose whether he's going to abide by legal requirements inside of our government or if he's not gonna be bound by them at all. Like what you see, click the subscribe button below and don't forget to ring the bell to never miss another video from the Young Turks.